Now that we've added our devices, we can start to create our doors in the Access Control System. We go into Doors and Zones here, and here you will have a list of doors, and you can press the Add Door button. Firstly, we give the door a name that makes sense to us, and connect it to a door controller, and click Next. Now you will see the door is connected to a controller, and we have some general door settings over here. You can select an identification profile that fits your need. Uh, if you want to create another identification profile, you can do that separately. You also see some times here relevant for the door configuration. While some are grayed out, this is because you don't have a door monitor configured yet. You have the access time, long access time, uh, open to long time, long open to long time, and the relock time for when you want the lock to relock once the door has been closed. They are grayed out, as you can see, with the door monitor not being configured yet. Now you can select where your lock is supposed to be connected on the controller itself. We have relay port 1 and relay port 2. Uh, you can select to have one or two locks configured to each individual door. And then we can add a door monitor. And as you can see here, when I add a door monitor, I have some selections relevant for the door monitor itself. Uh, so the door monitor, you select which IO to connect it to and also the polarity. You can set a debounce time if you have some issues with uh, jittering on the signal. We can add an emergency input. So we set what emergency input means. Uh, you see the difference here that the selected item is what is visible in the uh, settings tab here over to your right. Here, the emergency input settings are, well, if it's open circuit, closed circuit, and also what you want the actual door to do when you are in a state of emergency, either unlocking the door or locking the door. Next, we'll start to add readers and rexes to our door. Here you see our terminology being side A and side B, referencing the two door sides, the physical door sides. So I select that I want my reader to be on the A side of the door, where we can have an OSTP or VGAND reader with all the settings relevant for that setup. Tampering wire and uh, debounce time uh, and, and such. And OSTP R45 setup. In the advanced setting here, you can have a custom pin length and custom card format for this specific uh, reader to deviate from the system system-wide setup. If I deviate from the system general setups, I will get these warning triangles visible here. Next, I add a Rex device to the B side of my door. And here as well, you can see that I can choose if the Rex actually unlocks the door or if it is just an exit notification. Uh, I select the polarity of the Rex and the uh, possibility to add debounce time and supervised inputs. Uh, supervised input settings are the same for Rex, Reader, or Door Monitor, where you can have either the parallel first connection or a serial first connection, and select the resistor values. Same setup as you have in the A9188, for instance. Once I created my door, you can see it in the overview here, see where it's connected to, which door controller, and also I can showcase here the fact that if you want to duplicate the settings of a door, uh, I'll create the back door here, connect that to the same door controller, where you see now that one door is already populated, uh, which limits, of course, my selections here. But I can copy the configuration from my main entrance and for quick copy-pasting. But here you see, as the one reader and one rex is already uh, taken, I can't add more to this door. And you can see my two doors connected to the same door controller. Next, I'll go over to create a zone here. You'll see the zone list is currently empty, but I can add a zone by pressing this button here. I give the zone a name uh, that makes sense to me. It could be yeah, the office zone as I'm writing here. Uh, and select which doors I want to add to this specific zone just by simply pressing the add button over to your right. Pressing the edit, I move directly into the configuration of that door itself. Uh, I can also do, I can delete it from the zone. I, 
can also do some settings in line here to switch around if the A side is used to enter or leave the zone, uh, whilst also selecting if it is a perimeter door, so to be the shell of the zone or if it is an internal door inside of the specific zone. So to sum up, I now can go back to the doors and zones view here and look at my different doors. I see the doors are connected to zones. I can see the identification profiles that is connected to the door and also what card formats is relevant in the system.